coming to this project, seeing this project grow, like seeing my son growing day by day, seeing the achievement, the commitment from the contractor, from the labor, from everyone, we are really proud of this project. We are almost there. We are about 92% completing the whole project. We did achieve many milestones, 35 million man hours LTI free. Offshore, we finished all the drilling wells. We installed the first barrel top side, zero LTI. Everybody is committed to finish this project strong, on schedule and on time. The last year has been a year of firsts. We had the first hydro test on the project, the first piping test. Later we had the first ready for commissioning certificate. Once we had all the safety critical startup blocks that we needed to be able to introduce gas into the plant, we were able to safely introduce hydrocarbons for the first time. We were then able to introduce gas into our auxiliary boilers to take the first steps in beginning to raise steam. So you can truly say that the commissioning of Pearl DTL onshore complex in an integrated fashion has started. The provision of steam is probably the most uh, serious critical part that the project has had. So right from day one, the utilities team in terms of delivery has been under pressure to maintain the schedule. The last year and all the first that I've mentioned, we were also able to work safely. And at the moment, we're 49 million man hours without a lost time accident, something that we work very hard to maintain. System commissioning starts basically at the end of construction. The, the last step in the construction process is really hydro testing. And that's where, where the, uh, the construction team tests the mechanical integrity of the equipment and the pipelines that they've, that they've built. At that stage, the plant is full of water. So the first step in, in commissioning is actually to dewater the plant, and then we go into reinstatement. We then go into what we call dynamic testing to make sure that all of the components are actually going to work on demand. Shell's Flawless Startup Initiative is a special program that we put in place as an enhancement to a normal project quality assurance program. We take lessons learned from many, many projects that have been done in the past, and we, we incorporate them into this project. Because it's a linear configuration, then every piece in the puzzle has to work perfectly, otherwise the next piece in the sequence can't start up. The Zero Leak program is one of the cornerstones of the Flawless program. Every flange will be subject to uh, meticulous uh, fitting and inspection after the fitting is done. We've got a high level target from senior managers that you know, we have to have the plant up and running by the end of the year. So one of the ways we're, we're doing that is through a big engagement plan that we call WAX 2010. And this is to engage all of the contractors, to get them excited and enthusiastic about the fact that what we're really driving for is not just completing their little components, but our real drive is to get waxy product out of this plant by the end of December. Thousands of work in construction has been reviewed by different disciplines and approved to be used for starting up the plant. Drills will take a place to ensure that operation and the rest of the organization are competent to perform such activities. I'm really proud to be part of this giant project. This project will add value to Shell and to my country as well, as we are going to be the largest GTL producer in the world. And as you see around you, we're going to finish it strongly. I mean, working on a massive project like this is probably the most motivational experience you can have in your life. This project started you know, five years ago for me, and I've seen it grow from basically a flat piece of desert to you know, a living, breathing, humming machine. Yeah. That's making absolutely fantastic products. It's, it's tremendously exciting to be involved in something like this.